Hi, and welcome back to Com One Online. Today we're going to be talking about speech outlines, some outline tips, and formatting. Don't worry, it's a quick one. Now, why do we do speech outlines in the first place? Well, there's a few good reasons. Number one, it helps boost your overall confidence, mostly because you feel more prepared and practiced. It also helps keep you organized, main points, sub points, speech parts, and the like. It's a great place to record your quotes as you find them, add nonverbal speaker delivery cues, and it helps for when it's time to actually make note cards for your speech. So how are speech outlines different from, let's say, an English essay outline? Or in other words, and probably what you really want to know, what are the grading criteria? Well, there's a few, so be sure to jot them down. First, in a speech outline, you always use one and only one complete sentence per speech part or bullet point. Please be sure not to write more than one complete sentence. Otherwise, your outline looks way more like a script than it does a true shell or blueprint of your speech. Remember, you're not going to write down everything you want to say, but instead a few of the main points or takeaways to help keep you organized. Number two, for that reason, in a speech outline, we label all the parts of the speech, which I'll show you in just a moment. Number three, in a speech outline, it's appropriate to include in-text citations for any quotes or paraphrased text that you might include from your outside academic sources. Simply place the full quote directly into the outline using an in-text citation in MLA or APA format. Then, on your reference page or in the bibliography or works cited, there's a couple different names for those, you'll simply list the sources where you found the information you need to support your claims. Lastly, our speech outlines will all include three nonverbal speaking cues, at least. For me, I put these in brackets or color code or highlight them off to the side in the outline. And I'll put things like pause slow down, show the slide, or ask the audience a question. And this is where you're not inserting the actual text or what you plan to say in your speech, but instead some delivery directions that you want to keep in mind. So let's pause here for just a moment and I can give you a quick Microsoft Word tutorial as well as a brief tutorial on the outline template that you can use for this class. Okay, so you're ready to start your speech outline. Now, it's never a good idea to simply open up Microsoft Word and click on open a blank document, unless, of course, you love lots of daunting work. Instead, pick a formatting style that you're comfortable with. Let's say, for example, that it's MLA. Type the words MLA into the search bar at the top of the screen. You'll find that Microsoft Word has already done the hard work for you. Here is an MLA styled paper already pre-formatted for you. Perhaps you like APA better and that's just fine. Again, you could click on the APA style paper and next thing you know, There it is for you, with that crazy thing called running head, space for your title, name, institution, and all. Now that's just one quick trick, but I have another one for you. If you take a look in our course files, you will find that I have an APA pre-formatted speech outline template that you are allowed to use, download, edit, and work from. I say work smarter, not harder, so don't start from scratch. Let's say, for example, that you are doing your next speech on social media, and more specifically, taking a look at Twitter's influence on voter perception. Well, you could download the outline template that's already in place for you, 
and simply erase my existing text and then add it your own. You'll notice that again, there's a spot for your title, name, the date, and even where you go to college. Continue scrolling down and here you see the speech outline with all the parts that you already need. Now, here you'll find text where I am giving directions. That's the part that you want to delete. And then fill it in with your own. Now, what you might find in the template is that there are more moving parts than you actually need, and that's fine. You should be able to delete any one part of the outline and the formatting remains the same. So don't forget, leave the Roman numerals, the letters, and the numbers alone as part of the pre-formatted seriation. Leave the labels for each part of the speech as that's truly important. Simply move your cursor to where you want your text to begin and fill in one complete sentence per speech part with what you actually plan to say. Now remember, an outline is not a script, so don't write the whole thing out. Instead, write the parts that you need to help move your speech along. Take a look before you begin, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me. You'll even see that there's parts for you to add in supporting points all the way through to your conclusion. Finally, I give you a sample reference page. Please don't be overwhelmed when you see it. What I have listed here are directions for different types of resource entries. Another thing you could do, especially if this is overwhelming, is simply delete this entire section and use the APA guide or MLA guide either at the Sierra College Online Writing Lab or the OWL at Purdue. There you will find directions for how to enter in your outside academic resources. I hope this is truly helpful. Now let's take a look at some tips. Number one, of course, you can use the template that I just showed you on, camp on Canvas. Number two, Make sure that you use one consistent pattern of text and seriation, especially if you're starting from your own blank document or from scratch. Number three, feel free to use different colors or aesthetics if it helps. Sierra College has an online writing center that is an excellent resource, and you can also look to YouTube for examples, tutorials, and help with how to design a speech outline. Many students have questions about formatting their outline. If you are having trouble with the template or decide to start your own, know that you may use MLA or APA. Helping or starting with a pre-formatted document can definitely help. But if not, make sure that you're using 12 point font and double spacing your text. Include in-text citations for any outside sources you use. And when you use an in-text citation, be sure to include it at the end on your reference page. One thing that I have found handy is to start writing your outline in the body of your speech and then come back and fill in the introduction later. Sometimes we have no idea what we want to say until we see it. In fact, there's an interesting quote by communication scholar Carl Weick and it goes, how do I know what I think until I see what I say? So for me, I always start by writing the body of the speech first and then go back and do the introduction and conclusion. I hope this was helpful when it comes to speech outlining.